Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 19 complete CRUD tutorial and project where we are building an expense tracker. This is part 7 of the series and before we kick start the coding, please don't forget to keep continue to support me by getting the, your full stack interview series book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. This is a one stop interview kit that you definitely need for a lifetime. Alright, so as part of this project, we are covering all the features of Angular 19 in order for you to learn and master it. So far, if you notice, we have done a demo, then we did the installation and setup, signals and services, routing and standalone components, material table, grid with pagination, read functionality, add, edit. Today we are doing delete. In delete, what do we do? We have this application that we have built, we have the dashboard routing. We have the add expense uh, form. It's the same form that we'll use. We have this delete functionality. Clicking on delete now, nothing happens because we haven't written that code. So let's go ahead, implement that. This is my code and I'll close all the files. And now we head back to our grid. That's where our delete option is. So here, instead of routing, what we will do is provide a method right here so that user can delete right from here itself instead of going anywhere outside okay for delete we can just add a button and say that it's a delete button and we can just give a on click event to it all right so that's the logic we'll use again it can have multiple you know um, different variations but I'll keep it simple so that you learn different uh, modes of doing it so Take out this router if you want you can have a separate route for delete but usually it's a good practice to allow delete right here so I'll just call it on delete and what we will do is we will pass the expense ID okay or you can just say delete expense and pass the expense dot ID here save it we will we will get an error because we have not defined this function let's go ahead into the grid component.ts and create that method which will take an expense id as input and if you want you can mention it it's a number because we are passing a number to it now all we will do here is patch it with the backend and make that api call all right so what we'll do is we will just say that this dot expense service dot delete expense and it is expecting a number so which is what we will pass it will delete it and then we will use the snack bar that we created and we will say expense deleted successfully that's all we will need in order to delete we are making a backend call and we are showing the message expense deleted successfully let's go now see this value that is there auto one I'm clicking on it and number two is gone from the list number three number four number five and same way this is also this will also get updated accordingly the table see now these buttons they don't have anything because it's only 10 records and you're seeing the message here right so that's the simplest way we I can tell you that how you can go ahead and delete any existing expense All right now when I refresh the color is going away let's see why and fix that as well it may be because the class is not getting appended so we have the button which says delete btn but that color is getting overridden okay so for that to fix all we need to do is add important tag and it would work so now this is there same thing for light blue color also there are some default colors that angular material applies but now when you refresh it will work same thing for the color in the CSS so now we have the buttons which would work perfectly fine when we delete it right so that's the functionality of delete we so now we have implemented dashboard which has the table with edit and delete we have the form which is so this is misleading title which is add and edit expense we can make it more better by putting a condition and we can add that also so let's do that also to make our application perfect and solid so 
for that in the template what we'll do we'll add a condition to it okay that if the edit mode is set here we'll add that condition and write it as a so here we'll check that if the con if is edit mode that means if it's edit mode question mark then show edit or else add so that way we will just have expense here now save and run and go to your application so now it says it add expense because we are in the add screen if you go to edit it would say edit expense okay the same logic you can apply on the submit button as well and we can say add expense or whatever you want to show just by the conditional thing okay so this clears the crud functionality that is create read update and delete in the next episode i'm going to create this expense list and contact component to show you some more uh, features of angular 19 uh, which is defer and other things so that way you get to learn and master angular 19 with me i hope you are enjoying this tutorial i'm building and putting so much effort and time here i hope you're loving it please do give a like button um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you in the next episode we will learn how to use defer uh, with the other component thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode